did you know that on 25th of November there is an International Day of Violence Against Women? It was established in 2000 by United Nations and since then time, every year on this date, we are going to celebrate and talk loudly about feminism and women's rights. The world has extremely changed within the last 22 years. There are some crucial achievements in fighting against violence on women. And today, let's know what students of EMU know about this issue. So basically, um, what, uh, what I hear about the, the empowerment of women, it happens, it is actually happening in my country, in my home country, Pakistan, that is. So I hear from the news. I haven't witnessed it because I haven't been to my home country much, but I've seen from the news channel, from social media, basically, basically that like, it shows that there is like woman uh, woman march or we call in our own language orat march basically like what they are doing is to try to raise the voice raise the concern against the government who is not really caring about such such small such things that's not a small thing it's a big thing that that is about the whole nation that all the women work hard on they go out they don't feel secure outside so that's what people or all the women are are like are united together to do this such march so that they can raise this concern to the to the current government so that they can implement such good um, you can say such good um, rules for the women so that they can feel secure around the environment where they are inside okay I'm from southern Africa and there's one in South Africa called women for change SA um, in, it's on Instagram, so it just basically promotes, you know, change for women, and it's they're like activists for gender equality, and yeah, so I know that as well. Personally, I don't think I've faced any domestic violence, like me personally, but I've seen it happen. Yeah, exactly. I'm thinking it's important to celebrate because uh, these days a lot of women struggling with uh, violence, like even Iran, what we saw, like um, after this happened, a lot of people start to increase their voices. So right now people caring more. We, we don't uh, shut up this time. We are just speaking and we are raising our voice to protect our women and it should be like this also. Yes, actually I talk about it a lot because I don't uh, feel shy about it. It should be speak for every family because people, when they don't uh, raise their voices, um, I guess men, they thinking themselves more uh, like stronger because uh, a lot of girls, they don't speak about it in home. They struggling with maybe uh, violence. But if you share, you're feeling more comfortable and you can get help about it. Last thing, I hope that we can all learn to respect women through respecting ourselves and accepting the femininity in us so we can unite and be one. And I hope that both women and men find the blessings and prosperity that is provided to us by the universe and respect. I hope we all learn to respect people and respect ourselves through it. And that's all, thank you. Violence against women has been a part of our unfortunate society since long. And now it is the time to get rid of all the unfortunate incidents of work harassment, domestic violence or women abuse. After hearing all the perspectives from the EMU students today, it turns out to be a ray of hope towards the betterment of our society.